Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. This video is about fermented foods. What's fermented food? Fermented foods are defined as foods or beverages produced to control microbial growth and conversion of food components through enzymatic action. In recent years, fermented foods have undergone a surge in popularity mainly due to their proposed health benefits. Some uh, common fermented foods are kefir, kombucha, sauerkraut, tempeh, natto, miso, kimchi, soda, bread. First thing is kefir. It is nothing but a fermented milk drink. It is originated from the Caucasus region before thousand years ago. You can drink kefir on its own place uh, with a replacement to buttermilk, milk or water in dishes for a nice sour flavor. Thick kefir is similar in consistency to yogurt. You can eat it in a same way. For example, as a breakfast or for dessert. You can use kefir for dessert or as a breakfast. This tart is lightly carbonated drink and is made by adding kefir grains to room temperature and allowing it to ferment for 10 to 24 hours. Kefir has an abundance diverse microbes and evidence suggests that it could also benefit your health in many ways. Kefir may benefit in controlling type 2 diabetes and it improves your gut health and it plays a major role in weight loss and also it reduces inflammation. It is a good source of many important vitamins and minerals. This includes vitamin B, C, A and K and well as well as a mineral such as magnesium, calcium and phosphorus. This uh, kefir ca may contain many microorganisms which are useful for the fermentation. Such microbes are lactobacillus, lactococcus, streptococcus and leuconostoc. Second one is kimchi. It is nothing but a fermented vegetable mixture of spices and of vegetables like cabbage, radishes, leeks, cucumbers or sweet potatoes. This dish is originated in Korea almost thousand years ago and it is a traditional food too. In all over across East Asia and over the world. Typically a salt and a sour mixture. Kimchi comes in a variety of flavors depending on the spices, seasonings and the vegetables used. Some kimchi can also include meat such as beef, pork or seafood. It is often taken as a side dish and also it is mixed with the other uh, dishes like dumplings, stew or rice. Evidence suggests that eating kimchi may lower cholesterol level and improve blood sugar level. This kimchi consists of more probiotics which improve our gut health and relieve certain digestive issues such as abdominal pains, blotting and irregular bowel movements. Other reported potential health benefits include the prevention of certain types of cancer and supporting brain and skin health. The vegetables commonly used in kimchi are good sources of vitamin A, C, as well as calcium, magnesium, fibers and other beneficial nutrients. Kimchi microbial com communities are composed of majorly lactic acid bacteria such as leuconostoc, lactobacillus and vacilla and fewer eukaryotic microorganisms. Third one is kombucha. It is nothing but a fermented sweet tea. It is originated in northeast China over 2000 years ago. It is a lightly carbonated drink and distinctly tart. Kombucha is made by fermenting sweet tea with a symbiotic culture of bacteria and yeast. People often add fruits or herbs to create a variety of flavors in kombucha. In animal in one analysis in animal studies, evidence suggests that drinking kombucha may help promote more diverse gut microbiome. Another study found links between kombucha and anti-inflammatory effects and a healthier skin microbiome. 
Other studies, however, found that some components in kombucha may worsen gastrointestinal problems such as irritable bowel syndrome. Animal study have also suggested that it may help to improve more heart disease risk, cholesterol levels, um, blood sugar control, and cancer progression, neurodegenerative disease risk. It's important to be mindful of the sugar content in kombucha. Industrially produced version can be high in sugar or sweetness and other additives. Most uh, microorganisms used for the fermentation of kombucha is bacillus coagulans or bacteria such as lactobacillus nagili, gluconacetobacter, gluconobacter and comatobacter species. Fourth one is sauerkraut. It is a fermented cabbage. In German, they name this food as a sour cabbage. It is also originated from China almost 2000 years ago. A light, salty and a sour uh, touch and a crunchy condiment may be a good option for people who are new to fermented foods. You can eat it with uh, sandwiches, with meat or on its own. Raw and cooked sauerkraut is a good source of probiotics which may be beneficial for your gut health. In multiple studies involving people with irritable bowel syndrome, eating sauerkraut was associated with reduced symptom after only 6 weeks. The microbiomes in sauerkraut may also help lower cholesterol and it is also rich in fibers, vitamin C, B6 and iron. Four species involved in fermentation of sauerkraut, they are Leuconostoc mesenteroids, Lactobacillus brevis, Pediococcus pentososus, and Lactobacillus plantarum. Fifth one is yogurt. Yogurt is a com common food in many cuisines around the world. It dates back to around 8000 years ago when herdsmen in the Middle East use animal intestine to keep the milk from spoiling in the heat. Today, yogurt is mixed with the many bacteria. The slightly sour taste allows yogurt to be used in various ways, including a marinade, in sauces or smoothies. Different types of yogurts are available, but those with no added sugar are best. Add fruits, herbs, rolled oats or a small drizzle of honey for added flavor. An analysis of 100 studies found that yogurt might be associated with many health benefits, including it improves gut health, better heart health, including cholesterol level, blood fat, and blood pressure. Promoting a healthy body weight. Reduce the risk of cancer, particularly colorectal cancer, breast cancer, and prostate cancer. And it also reduces risk of type 2 diabetes and improve bone health. Lactobacillus acidophilus is the most common probiotic used in yogurt. And also they use the traditional method. But you can look for a live and active culture statement to check if a yogurt contains probiotics. And it also a good source of protein, calcium, phosphorus and B vitamins. Yogurt is made when heated milk is combined with bacteria. Specifically, they use Lactobacillus bulgaricus and Streptococcus thermophilus and left it to sit for several hours at a warm temperature of about 110 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Additional type of Lactobacilli and Bifidobacteria may be added. Sixth one is Misho. Misho is thought to have originated in China before making its way over Japan, sometime during 7th century. It is made by mixing the soybeans, fermented rice and salt before allowing it to ferment for several months. And it also has a rich savory flavor and can be used in soup, sauces and salad dressings among other dishes. There is some evidence that Misho has a health benefits. This include better blood sugar control and lower of certain cancer and heart disease and better uh, improvement in gut health. Temperature control fermentation has been made it possible to ripen maisho within 3 months. The lactic acid bacterium 
Pediococcus halophilus and the yeast Saccharomyces roxy are often used in the preparation of uh, uh, miso and uh, which accelerate the ripening process. And seventh one is some cheese. The first cheese is thought to have been created about 4000 years ago when a merchant left a sheep's stomach pouched filled with the milk out in the Arabian sun. Today most cheese undergo fermentation, aged cheddar, parmesan, Swiss cheeses and some cottage cheese contain probiotics. Some evidence suggests that fermented cheese may help promote gut health and healthy cholesterol levels. Cheese is also a good source of calcium but it is also have a high sodium and saturated fat. It is best to eat in a moderation and at a, as a part of overall health diet. diet. Thermophilic species such as Streptococcus thermophiles, Lactobacillus helveticus and Lactobacillus delbrucki species are associated with the Swiss and Italian type cheeses. Bacterial species can also be classified as mesophilic because these microorganisms ferment lactose only at 105 degree Fahrenheit or less than that. Eighth one is Sodo bread. Sodo bread is thought to have originated in ancient Egypt and it is started by fermenting a mixture of flour, water and salt. A portion of this starter is then mixed with more flour and water to leaven the bread dough. While sodo starters do contain probiotics, they are killed by the heat in the baking process. However, the baked bread does contain more prebiotics. Similar to the other fermented food, soda bread has a slightly sour taste and a salty flavor and is delicious way to add a little tang anywhere bread features. Soda bread may be a good option for people with moderate gluten intolerance but it depends on individual. This fermentation, it is not safe for people with sialic disease. The people who are having sialic disease, they do not um, consume soda bread. Not all store brought soda bread is actually fermented. The first recovered vinegar dates. Ninth one is apple cider vinegar. The first record of vinegar dates back almost 7000 years to when the Babylonians used it for food preservation. In ancient Greece and Hippocrates used to prescribe apple cider vinegar for many ailments like the common cold. Apple cider vinegar is made by adding yeast to apple juice and allowing it to ferment. It can be used in salad dressing, baking, pickling, soups. Unfiltered or raw apple cider vinegar contain live bacteria, some of which may be probiotic. This possible health benefits include better blood sugar control and cholesterol level. Lactococcus and Enococcus were the predominant bacteria in the pre-fermentation of apple vinegar while the dominant bacteria in the middle and late fermentation stages were Lactococcus and Acetobacter. Thank you. For more video, subscribe Janani Science, like my video and share video. Thank you.